Melvin with I Love Healthy Me. Woo! <laughs> Chef Melvin doing one of his signature dishes. Here is Chef Melvin. Hey, y'all. We're back again. And, of course, I just want to reiterate my challenge, a uh, 50-pound challenge for two months. Um, I didn't say how much I weighed in the first video, so this one I'm going to let you know. I'm 312 pounds. So, two months from now, I plan to be at 252 pounds. So, all of y'all, oh, excuse me, 262 pounds. Yeah. Pardon my math. <laughs> but y'all just stay tuned and just take this journey with me. Preferably week by week, you'll see everything start to come into place. And you'll see the weight start to drop off. But now we're going to get into one of my signature dishes, which is stuffed mushrooms. Now, with the stuffed mushrooms, I usually get the, the medium-sized mushrooms, and I take out the, cat, the stems in them. And then after I take the stems out, I wash them off. Then I put them in the pan. I usually flip them over. I put oil, the grapeseed oil on, this, on them. Then use a little sea salt to season them with. Flip them back over, put some more oil on the inside with a little bit more sea salt. And I'm also going to season them with a little bit of oregano. It's just so good, so good. So oregano goes in all of them along with my other herbs, which are the tarragon. He loves tarragon. I love thyme. <laughs> That's what she says today. But the, just the aroma from the tarragon, I mean, it just really makes the, brings everything out in it. The, I think it's just the way that the, it smells that helps to flavor the food. And we want to give a shout out to Sean Thomas from Entrepreneur Her, who actually encouraged Melvin to do these videos. So shout out to you, girl, Entrepreneur Her. Woohoo! And, of course, to my counterparts out there, Chef Key in the building, wherever you be, and Miss P. All right, so we got all that in there. And, of course, we got to put a little bit more salt because we put, added some other stuff to it. And, of course, I would get in trouble if I don't mention my friend who lives around the corner, Miss Cara Ash. And I got your bacon coming, so you don't have to beat me up anymore. All right, so we got those seasoned. So now we have a little fry pan that I have here with a little bit of oil in it. This mixture has squash, zucchini, quinoa, and it has sweet peppers in it with some onion. So this is what I stuff the mushrooms with. So I get this, I put it in, the, in, in this pan. It's already hot, so you're going to hear it sing. Yeah, there it is. It's singing. Can it sing like me, baby? No. Nobody can sing like you, baby. Brownie right. points. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we want to do is basically Good. get this going. We don't want to cook it too long. We just want to soften the vegetables up a little bit. What, what kind of oil did you use? This is, of course, grapeseed oil. Because again, we try to keep everything vegan, along with vegan alkaline, so that those who are really trying to reverse diseases and things, they have that ability to do that by keeping all the impurities out. And so the quinoa is already cooked, right? Yeah, I cooked the quinoa prior to, so to make this demonstration go a little bit quicker. Now the second part of this part of the demonstration, I'm also going to do a soup with butternut squash and kabasha squash. Um, I'm going to tell you the story about that in just a moment. But I just want to make sure that we get this all heated all the way through and get this. It looks like the squash is changing color, the zucchini is changing color, which is what you look for. Now again, we have to season this just like everything. So you want to season all your food. Every time you cook something, you want to season it. Then you taste it to see if you need to re-season it. The other thing that I failed to mention is 
I also seasoned this um, mixture with uh, just a few squeezes of lime juice to give it just a little little bitterness to it but that also mixed in with the salt just it sets the flavor off it really makes it taste very good Instead of moving to a better place, it says it passed. And again, you want to make sure that you fill these up. And some people, yes, you can eat this stuffing all by itself, but it probably tastes better with the stuffed mushrooms. This is also the same stuffing that I use for my peppers. So this is a very versatile stuffing. Um, and then I change up ingredients every now and then. Um, sometimes I use um, chayote, which is sort of like a cactus it's, it type. It lost the connection. It says it's trying to reconnect. Oh. All right. So we've got them filled right now. So the next step is take this and move this out the way. And we need some aluminum foil. That's right here. But we got to make sure that it gets some steam. Spring water at the bottom. <clears throat> and we take the aluminum foil. And we're going to cover it. We're going to take, I already had the oven preheated, it's at 325, mm -hmm. stick this in the oven, at 325 for 45 minutes to 60 minutes. And we'll be back in just a moment to see the finished product. Sprinkle it over top. Hopefully, I made enough. There's really no measurement to this. You just take a handful of nuts and put them in one of those, like I said, smoothie blenders. Or you can actually put it in a regular blender or a food processor. And you just want to beat them down till it looks like this. Yeah, you're going to have some chunks as well, but that just adds to the texture, which, which I think you always need texture with your food. I'm not a person who likes just soft food. I like it to be a different consistency. So now what we're going to do is take the turn the heat up to broil. And we're going to stick them back into the oven to let the, the top brown. So we'll be back shortly to see how it comes out. So here is the finished product of the mushroom with the grated Brazilian nut 
on the top. This is one of the second things, one of the second dishes that he made for me when I first started this journey. These mushrooms were so good for me. I ate mushrooms every day. And we're going to feast on these in a few minutes.